In this short video, let's take a look at what quanto options are and specifically, let's take a look at their correlation risk and sensitivity. So let's take the perspective and position of a US based investor who is, let's say, bullish about a foreign currency denominated asset. Let that asset be, for example, Nikkei 225, which is denominated in JPY. So as far as nomenclature is concerned, let's assume that this asset is currently, let's say, trading at a level, which is, let's say, S0, and this S0 is in JPY, okay? Then I am assuming that the horizon which the investor has in mind is some capital T and therefore the investor goes ahead and purchases a call option on the Nikkei. This call option is let's say one which has a maturity of T and a strike K which is specified in JPY, the foreign currency. Now the payoff of this call option is given by this and when the call option expires, this payoff will have to be translated or converted into the domestic slash accounting currency of this investor, which is USD. Okay. So this foreign currency to domestic currency conversion, it will happen at the prevailing spot rate in the foreign exchange market. And I'm assuming that this rate is denoted by XT because I'm taking the rate which is applicable at time t and I am assuming that this xt is quoted as number of units of USD which is the domestic currency of this investor for or per unit one JPY which is the foreign currency okay so this quote is the price of one unit of the foreign currency that is JPY in USD Okay, I will take this XT and I will use this XT to convert the payoff which I have from the call option. You can quickly check that this quote XT makes sense algebraically because this payoff is in foreign currency and this quote is in domestic currency per unit foreign currency. So FC, FC cancels and what you get then is a final amount that you make in DC, the domestic currency, which is USD. Now, this all seems good as far as monetizing on this investor's views is concerned. Is there any risk involved here? Even if, let's say, I were to assume that the views of this investor turn out to be correct, and that is the Nikkei does appreciate, the call lands up in the money, and he's able to profit from his views. But what if, when it's the time to convert this payoff from the call option, which is in JPY, into UST, what if at that point in time, the XT goes down? The XT going down means what? It means that the yen that you've just got depreciate, which means the price of one yen in UST, something which we've denoted by XT, goes down okay so nikkei goes up but the yen depreciates if that happens then the payoff which you finally receive in domestic currency which is usd suffers because of that okay so in this set of trades which this investor has done that means first buying a call option on the nikkei and then leaving it unhedged as far as the currency exposure is concerned does have this risk associated with fluctuations of the future realized spot rate okay and therefore this exposure on this xt is actually a long exposure which means if xt goes up you stand to gain if xt goes down you stand to lose okay so what can the investor do how about the investor look out for a currency hedge how about him looking out for let's say a currency futures he can go ahead and actually go and since this exposure was a long exposure on the jpy he can go and actually short futures on jpy okay that would act like a currency hedge but the problem here is that how much quantity 
or what size of this hedge would you put in place okay so you've identified the hedge it will be a short position in jpy futures you've identified the maturity it will be corresponding to this capital t but what you are not sure about is how much quantity or size do you want these futures for okay therefore this is a problem and you cannot really hedge your currency exposure via futures now enters the quanto option this is like an option which will help this investor benefit from his views about this st the closing price of nikkei at the end of the horizon alone that means he would not have any exposure to fluctuations in the exchange rate to do that what the quanto option does is that it translates or converts the payoff which we receive at the end or the expiry of this option at a pre-agreed or fixed exchange rate it doesn't convert this this final payoff at the prevailing rate at that point in time it actually converts it at a fixed rate a rate which was let's say decided at the initiation of this transaction now when this quanto option is purchased by this investor as promised the investor is now immune to fluctuations in x he will not be now sensitive to fluctuations in xt but then you can always ask this question was this trade beneficial under all circumstances let's now explore that thing so to explore that let's explore this under this heading of correlation risk slash sensitivity which correlation are we talking about here we are talking about the correlation between the two random variables or drivers which my option was sensitive to it was sensitive to st and it was sensitive to xt what the quanto has achieved is that it has helped the investor drop this you know direct exposure to xt and replace it with a constant x not to understand what kind of correlation risk or sensitivity does the quanto option experience let's write down the payoffs of the investor in the two cases the case where he purchased a simple vanilla call and left it unhedged with respect to currency exposure that means he converted his final payoff at the final spot price the final spot exchange rate at the maturity of the option versus the payoff that he is in store for when he goes ahead with the quanto option let's take into account two cases case 1 is when this correlation between the s and the x is positive and case 2 when this correlation is negative so when this correlation is positive what happens whenever st goes up then in tandem with that the xt also goes up which means that in this case when he had purchased a vanilla call and left it unhedged whenever the payoff of the call option goes up by virtue of the st going up that means he has a lot more yen to now convert to ust the yen also appreciates because xt goes up so yen appreciation and an increase in the nikkei the time together they happen together okay and therefore the payoff which the investor finally receives in usd gains because of xt and the st moving up together if st on the other hand were to go down let's assume a simple case the case when st goes really down and this option expires out of the money okay and therefore if that happens and this option is let's say not exercised the payoff of this option is zero then even though the yen has depreciated it doesn't matter because the payoff that you have to convert is a zero payoff okay now in the case where st doesn't really go that down the option still lands up in the money i know xt does go down because of this positive correlation between xt and st but then in that case you have a lot fewer yen to convert okay so the impact of xt going down is not felt that much now for this case of positive correlation in the case if the investor was holding a quanto option 
Well, he's immune to movements in XT. The only thing which he enjoys an exposure to is movements in ST. Okay, so in that case, the investor does not gain when XT and ST move together, something which this vanilla investor was experiencing. Okay, so as a rule of thumb, if the row between S and X is positive, it means that the call option, I mean a vanilla call whose currency exposure is left unhedged would be more valuable as compared to a quanto call option. Okay. Now the other case, the case when row SX is negative. Now this is, is actually the case or the risk by virtue of which we had actually sought the quanto option. We were looking for a way which can help us you know, safeguard ourselves for this scenario in which ST goes up, we do our, you know, we are able to monetize on our views about Nikkei, but then a fall in XT erodes our profits. Okay. So we were looking out for an option. Quanto option came in as one of the solutions. And it is indeed that case in which the quanto option is more valuable as compared to a vanilla option whose currency risk exposure is left unhedged. Okay, so when ST goes up and because of the negative correlation XT goes down, the investor in the vanilla option is hurt, but the investor in the quanto option is safeguarded in that in that scenario okay and therefore for a negative correlation it's the quanto option that will be more valuable as compared to this alternative in general we can take this as our rule of thumb that the quanto option it gains when the correlation between s and x goes down okay you so in this short video we've taken a look at what a quanto option is and what kind of correlation risk or correlation sensitivity does this quanto option have the correlation that we are referring to here is the correlation between the underlying asset and the foreign exchange x okay